Hello and welcome to this iMazing tutorial on single app mode. I'm Gregorio from DigiDNA and uh, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to supervise your iPod Touch, iPhone or iPad for business use and once it's supervised you can put any app in single app mode. Single app mode is one of the most powerful features in a business context. Once you've supervised a device you can lock it so that it only displays a single app. It's very often used for point-of-sales apps, for instance. You can also, if you're a photographer, for example, put the native Photos app in single app mode and, um, you know, just showcase your portfolio in that way. Um, so, let's go ahead and jump straight to the point. I've plugged in iPod Touch to my computer via USB and uh, I'm going to scroll down the Actions list here and click on Supervision. Now, Amazing will show you an informative screen on uh, supervision. You can click on learn more here um, if you want to know all the details about what supervision is and what it lets you do. I'll just go ahead and click next. This is the uh, supervision option screen. All you have to do is choose a supervising organization. Choose and Amazing will display the organization's library. Yours will be empty. Uh, you can simply click on the plus button here to create a new organization. Only the name field is required. My shop. Save and that will create the My Shop organization. I'll go ahead and select that new organization and confirm. Now I'll leave all the default options uh, as they are. Uh, if you want to learn more about these options, you can click on the help button here and they are all detailed on an article on our website. Um, I'll just go ahead and click Next. Now, supervising an iOS device will always erase it first. This is by design and it's the way it's implemented by Apple and it uh, prevents abuse of supervision. Supervision is really meant for businesses and not for personal use. So you just type 42 and confirm here. We're not going to supervise this device right now. We're just going to select an already supervised device so that we can just go faster. Once your device is supervised, you'll just need to configure it, um, install the app you want to install, and uh, set up the device uh, with a passcode, you know, do all the normal configuration of your iOS device. Once the app you want to put in single app mode is installed, you select the device in the sidebar and again find the supervision action which will now not display a supervision wizard but the supervised device options. Scroll down and at the very bottom you can click on enable single app mode. Now this is a list of apps currently installed on the device. I will find my point of sales app, Square, it's one of the most popular apps for uh, small and medium-sized businesses and confirm with choose. I can scroll down just a bit more and see that we have some single app mode options here, such as disabling the touch input uh, or disabling the interface rotation or disabling the hardware buttons. They all have their use. It just depends on your uh, specific use case. I'll go ahead and click on apply. And that's it. My device is now in single app mode uh, with the Square Point of Sales app running. Now, the issue with single app mode is that you can only use that single app. You cannot even go to the settings app. So how do you exit the single app mode? Well, you'll have to connect the device to the computer again and go back to the supervision screen and click exit single app mode. It's very straightforward. And that's about it. We've covered in uh, just a few minutes, how easy it is from a Windows computer to put an iOS device or iPadOS device in single app mode. And this is actually quite extraordinary because normally device management is done from a Mac if you do it locally. Or you can do remote device management, but you need an MDM subscription and you'll also need an Apple Business Manager account. Well, with iMazing on Windows, but also on Mac, all you need is just an amazing license and you can use these devices. They may be old devices or they may be new devices that you order from Apple and really quickly supervise them and make the most of them for your business. If you have any questions about how amazing can help you make the most of your Apple devices, 
you can always get in touch with us at iamazing.com slash contact. We're here and we're eager to hear from you. Have a great day and uh, see you soon for another presentation. Bye-bye.